engineer775 um, wanting to do a video response. I guess I'm going to post this video, but it's also a video response to my own video uh, about the uh, whole house filtration system I just installed. Now, um, what do I have here? It's a uh, red dye. I have water with just red dye FDNC number 40, standard, you know, food grade red dye. And people say they use uh, dyes to test whether or not a ceramic filter is working and that is just impossible um, and what do I mean by that so I'm gonna drink out of this and then I'm gonna spit it out and I just spit it out into this jug and you see uh, it's not as red is it no um, so it's stopping some of that but it's not it cannot it's not a test for testing um, ceramic filters so the size <coughs> of the molecule of FDNC 40 or green or blue or whatever is much smaller than what a ceramic filter can prevent. Uh, I'll probably put a little chart just to give you uh, sizes um, and again I'll just put a little note in here on, on straws. These are great straws. Again the smallest bacteria is 200 nanometers. Okay that's 0.2 microns. That's why uh, the ceramic uh, filter industry to me has uh, standardized to that 0.2 microns and a lot of them are like 0 0.17, 0 0.18 but they just claim 0.2 microns. That will get out 99.99 percent of all um, bacteria. Now we get into virus. Uh, I think the polio virus being the smallest virus at 25 nanometers, that's 0 0.025 microns. There's no ceramic filter that's going to take the, that virus out. And so, you know, viruses are a varying size, but most the average size of a virus is uh, 75 nanometers, 0 0.075 uh, microns. And so uh, these ceramic filters aren't going to take that. You need a membrane filter with some sort of pump to push the water through the membrane and, and leaving the viruses behind. So I think that's where the filter industry is going is towards uh, these uh, nanometer membranes and um, though the ceramics have their place in most water sources in our country where most people live, um, most preppers live. Now there are horrible water sources around the world where viruses are concerned and the ceramics just won't cut it. Um, they claim to cut out some, but they're not going to get all viruses. But they do get 99.9% .9 of all bacteria. So I just want to do this little test. A red dye test or a dye test is not a test of whether or not your ceramic filter is functioning properly. Uh, because, again, the molecular size of red dye is much smaller than 0.2 microns. So that, therefore, hence went, <laughs> henceforth, and whatever I'm trying to say, you see that it doesn't work. So don't let that be a test of whether or not your ceramic filters work. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to put out there. But um, there's a lot of people that claim, and whatever filter you have, make sure that you have a third-party verification. I met a great lady at an expo from uh, Sudical Labs in Texas, and that is a third-party tester of filters. So. Again, most of the time what we're concerned about are bacteria and in our water sources and ceramic filters are a great way. And again, uh, like anything, having a backup, having redundancy, having two ways to filter your water or purify your water is, is, is the smartest thing to have on hand. But, um, you know, like this little life straw, I love it. It's a great way, especially for kids, um, to be able to make sure that they're not going to get sick. Um, you know, once you get diarrhea, you're done, uh, unless you have good antibiotics or you've prophylaxed, uh, is that a word? Um, used uh, your Cipro's and things ahead of time and uh, so that you, you're not going to get sick. Whether you're traveling on a mission trip or you're just backpacking, hiking in the woods, or you're bugging out and you are drinking uh, water. Uh, from a mountain stream you're not sure about it's good to have a couple different ways to take care of that water supply so okay that's enough from me and I might uh, hopefully have a little chart and some facts on, on this video so that you can refer to and engineer 775 signing out